Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to be back. I took a couple days off of filming for the main channel last week because I got an infection on my face and I was freaking out about it, but I'm here today to share with you guys my tips on how I figured out how to cover it. So actually I have an infection and it is really upsetting. It's really dark and I feel like my skin was just in a place where it was really good. I was really taking care of it. I was getting facials and lasers and treatments and all this stuff and my skin finally felt the best it's ever looked. And I get this huge mark. So it's gotten a little bit better. I am on medicine to get rid of it, but I thought I can't be the only one going through this. I know some of you guys have dark spots from the sun, melasma a lot of you guys told me because i thought this was melasma at first that it might be melasma you have it too and how to cover it and stuff like that or if you just have like acne scarring i've gone through it and i know how it is and i know how frustrating it can be to have something like this especially when the rest of your face feels like i don't need that much makeup and i don't like that heavy cakey look so i'm going to show you guys how to cover dark marks while still having a really natural look so yeah i painted my room pink it's not done yet but i really wanted to film for you guys I'm getting ready to go to the airport here in about an hour or two. So I thought, why not get ready on camera? So first thing I do is put on my It Cosmetics, what's this called? Anti-Aging Armor Super Smart Skin Perfecting Beauty Fluid. It's a really long name, but you get it at Sephora and it's a tinted SPF 50. So if you have dark marks, chances are it's possibly from the sun. So make sure you're wearing your SPF every single day and protecting your skin from the sun. And also I wear a moisturizer underneath this. So a lot of days I'll leave my skin like this and I'll just put on some tinted lip balm and be done. But obviously with this, I wanna cover it a little bit more. And after I've, I'm flying to Chicago tonight and I'm meeting a friend for dinner, so I wanna be like ready to go by the time I get there. So I'm testing this out today. It is the LA Girl Pro Conceal. So I have heard really great things about this. It's a dark orange shade, so it should color correct really well, but I just got that in the mail yesterday. I ordered it off Amazon. So this is what I had been using to color correct. And this is by Smashbox. It's the color correcting stick in the orange color. And it just looks like a big orange crayon. And this works really well. So I just apply that all over the dark spot and then put my foundation on top. So basically that's what you need is a really bright orange shade of concealer or color corrector to cover that up. That's what's gonna correct it and balance it and not just like camouflage it a little bit. Like if you wanna actually neutralize the tone, you have to put an orange underneath. So it's different depending on different colors. I have a whole video on color correcting if you have like blue or purple or red or brown, how to color Color crack that so I'll link it down below um, because it's just basically the same color theory and I used all these Smashbox sticks but I really wanted to try this one because number one it's like five dollars on Amazon so if it works that good for five dollars I have to try it and it looked just like the most intense so let's try this out let's put primer on first okay so for primer I've been liking this one from Tom Ford in shade number two peach glow and it kind of looks like a bronzy peachy glow and it gives you a little bit of a tan it has the weirdest smell though it smells like a bathing suit that you went swimming in and then you like let it dry overnight and then you wanted to wear it again <laughs> that's what it smells like to me like a wet bathing suit but it's fine it looks pretty so i go with it i just did my self tanner too and i haven't washed it off yet that's why it looks so dark but i'll probably rinse it off right before i leave for the airport and yeah, sometimes I do my makeup and then take a shower and I just don't get wet from here up. Okay, so let's go in with the orange. Any orange will do, but I'm gonna try this one today. This is like deep, dark. Okay, a lot comes out. So, I don't think I need this intense. So let's just start with that much. Take a foundation brush and just start dabbing it. Don't swirl it because you don't want to move that product around. You just want to push it into the skin. Okay. So you don't want any excess product. So I'm just tapping it with a tissue. And then this is very intense. It's a lot more intense than this Smashbox one. So let's try it out. If it doesn't work, I'll go back to the Smashbox one, but I hope it's gonna work. And then 
we will put a little concealer on top. So I love the Tarte Shape Tape. I use this every day under my eyes, but it's just a really great full coverage concealer. So you don't need much. I use it in shade medium, but this will kind of help, you know, cover this and lock this into place. Take a different brush that doesn't have orange. And again, just start tapping. completely covered. Isn't that awesome? It's still a little wet, so I don't want to like smile too much, but literally that took like 30 seconds. It's completely covered. You would have no idea I have anything underneath there. So for the rest of my face, I, I know I have like freckles and a little bit of spots here and there, but I don't want to cover it up with something that heavy. I like to look natural and just like I have really good skin. So I'm only going to do heavy coverage actually like where I need it. I think that's a big tip to keep in mind is don't just do a full coverage foundation everywhere because you have one pimple or one dark mark. Just cover what you need to cover and then use something lightweight all over. I think it just looks really pretty that way. So I'm going to use my Armani Luminous Silk, one of my all-time favorite foundations. I use it in shade 5.75 and I use just like a tiny bit of this. Like I don't even go crazy with this because you know like I said the rest of my skin looks pretty good right now. So we'll just tap this in all over. Right, and I'll do a tiny bit of that concealer under the eyes and I see people go crazy with this and it's full coverage you don't need that much literally that is enough to really brighten under the eyes and cover in dark circles then I like to take a flat foundation brush and kind of place it where I want it and go back in with the fluffy one and tap it in now a really important step is to set with powder so you have this great coverage it looks great the spots completely covered up but you want to make sure it lasts all day and that's what i was kind of worried about with something like this like heavy coverage on top of each other like the concealer the corrector the foundation all of it i really wanted to last all day i didn't want to get shiny or oily so i've been using the laura mercier translucent powder it works really well at keeping away oil and shine and making it stay on all day I've been like testing out different things all week because I'm in my friend Mallory's wedding this weekend. And I was like, oh no, I cannot have this like big spot in all the pictures. So I've been like testing out all these different correctors. I'm really liking this one though. So I'm setting under my eyes and in my T-zone. I'll take a little bit bigger brush. And gently on that area. I don't like a powdery look. So on the rest of my face, I'm just gonna use this Makeup Forever Ultra HD powder. It's the yellow one for medium skin tones. And I like this just to kind of lightly set all over. This kind of helps the bronzer and the blush that we're gonna put on to blend easier, but it doesn't make it look powdery. My body is really tan, so I need to make sure my face matches. And then last step for face is the Becca Chrissy Teigen palette. This is so, so good. And I was very pleasantly surprised. I didn't know how good it was going to be, but I've been using this one and this one as my highlighter. It's very intense, but it's so pretty. The color is like this perfect peachy champagne rose gold color. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my face. So here is the final look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you are going through a similar situation that I am or if you have dark spots or melasma, I hope this helps you out and you're able to cover them and feel better. It makes me feel a lot more confident and like myself again. And it was really like bringing me down for a couple of days. So I definitely feel a lot better now that I have this routine. Definitely try out that corrector if you're in the market for one. I think if you buy it alone, it's like less than $5, but I got it in a set with like a couple different correctors and it was like $8 on Amazon. So it's really, really affordable and this matchbox one is really great too however I do feel that this one was a lot more pigmented and intense 
And if you need a color corrector, you probably are looking for something really intense. And if it's less than $10, why not? So I'll link everything that I use down below as well as what I used on my eyes and lips so you guys can check that out. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I make new videos every week. And I also have a vlog channel with my husband, Michael. We'll be vlogging my meetup this week in Chicago and the wedding this weekend in Nashville. We have a lot of fun trips planned this summer. So check out the vlog channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.